When you think of Subaru, you picture dogs, trails, and all-wheel drive scenery. But they also sell a pair of cars with stick shifts that are legitimately fun to drive, including this all-new WRX. There are two types of tree huggers at Subaru, the kind who take the love promise and the ones who dream of being Travis Pastrana. This car is for the latter, a turbocharged all-wheel drive sports sedan for the wannabe rally racer. Though no high performance STI version will be produced this time around, there's still plenty here to satisfy the enthusiast on a budget and get them to their day job in greater comfort. With a starting MSRP of 30,600, all four WRX trims are powered by a new, larger 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with similar output to the two liter engine it replaces. 271 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. A six-speed manual is the standard transmission, now with taller gear ratios from third to sixth, keeping gas mileage in check. Rated at 22 MPG in mixed driving, which is down one MPG from before. It still wants premium gas for best performance. But this car is longer, with noticeably more passenger volume, and the bigger boxer brings smoothness to the powertrain while requiring less boost to do its thing. So though 19 MPG City 26 Highway isn't anything to write home about, it's barely changed from the previous car, and to compensate for driving range, Subaru has given it a larger gas tank. Underpinned by the new Subaru Global Platform, which they say offers increased safety and noticeably delivers improved dynamics with a lower center of gravity, the new WRX is a more complete car. It's easier to drive, it's more comfortable, and yet it still excites with a high degree of precision. Steering in particular connects you to the car in a more sophisticated way, with a light but very accurate touch, working these pricey 18-inch Dunlop Max Performance summer tires. The grip is phenomenal, working in concert with the nominal 50-50 all-wheel drive split, an active torque vectoring to burnish driver confidence and carve up the road. And though a new version of the CVT is an option, I would put the WRX in the gotta have a stick category. Working with the new engine, the gear shifts are executed slickly, and the clutch pedal is worked with minimal effort. This makes driving the WRX easier in less than ideal traffic situations. And the drive is as straightforward as it can be, with no fancy drive modes or extraneous button pushes. Other than a track setting for the Dynamics control system, this is a starter up and go kind of car. The Sport Tune suspension transmits the road in proper fashion, but this WRX delivers greater comfort with a far more forgiving ride quality. Back when the rally car war was heating up between the WRX and Lancer, I found myself in Mitsu's corner. I've just never really been a big WRX guy, but I have to admit, this new model here has won me over. It's lost some of that unwanted edge and gained some welcome polish without squashing the fun. The shifter and clutch engagement is more fluid, the ride is more compliant, and the larger engine is more refined. Now, keep in mind, gears one and two do go by very quickly, so be prepared to shift Otherwise, this torque vectoring all-wheel drive system does a beautiful job of putting the power to the pavement and keeping this car glued to the road. It's quick too, taking care of 60 miles per hour in about five seconds, as long as you don't bump up against the rev limiter. And there's quite a deep rumble from these pipes. Start it up in the morning and the neighbors will take notice. There's now a new high-end WRX trim called GT which includes electronically controlled dampers, drive modes, Recaro seats, and an automatic transmission. Unfortunately, you can't get that one with the stick shift. So this limited trim is as high as you can go if you insist on changing your own gears, which I would highly recommend here because this one is very good. It feels less like work now, which drives up the fun factor. So this limited with this excellent infotainment system with high-end Harman Kardon stereo and these suede sports seats would be my choice at 37.5. Before seeing it in person, I had my doubts, but the styling really works for me and this ignition red paint is the perfect choice. The wider track, the lower roof line, the dark wheels, the full LED front lighting. It's a looker and that's something you rarely say about a Subaru. 
Never known for their lavish interiors, this WRX Limited actually impresses. Though simple in a number of ways, this cabin is a winner, with the big Starlink screen taking center stage. Intuitive, ergonomically smart with the right mix of real buttons, and full of useful features, Subaru has come a long way with their infotainment. There's no wireless anything in here, though, other than Bluetooth. And the 11-speaker Harman Kardon sound system is powerful and does a nice job of cleaning up compressed music. No EyeSight driver assist technology with the manual transmission means you don't get adaptive cruise control, but there is high beam assist, steering responsive headlights, blind spot detection with lane change assist, rear cross traffic alert, and a backup cam. Have passengers? Well, the one next to you doesn't get the power seat you have, but the rear passengers benefit from increased legroom and two USB ports, but no control over HVAC. There are still small signs of cheapness in here, but overall, it's befitting a car of this ilk. So no five-door body style and no STI for now, but the WRX has evolved and emerged as a more civilized, dialed-in way to get to work and work the back roads. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.